Oh, they figured out the truck again. It's the same price as what we got before. Last, last two. The last two been that price? Yeah. Coffee? Don't think it'd bring more in a silk bid situation? It's, I mean, it's a. I don't know. I really don't. I mean, I mean, I guess this way you know what you're getting, right. and that way I, right. I, I have no idea. I really don't. That just seems for a truck with three hundred and some thousand miles, that seems pretty cheap yeah. to me. I mean, because I've been looking at them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it is an over truck. It doesn't have all that ECM stuff. Right. I mean, it's, yeah. It doesn't have all the. It's got a little bit of the but stuff on it. But I mean, for 1995 it, used dump truck. Yeah. For a dump truck, that seems very cheap, I guess, for a setup truck for what I've been pricing, and then even in the same year. But the trucks I've been looking at even have more miles on them than that. But I mean, it's just. Yeah, and that's what we got on the last two, I think. And it's, I mean, we could try for it on Purple Wave or something yeah. else, but right. I mean, it's just kind of a right. roll of the that's dice. What it is. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to say it bring $25,000 right. in that tickle me pink. Well, <laughs> well, I mean, it would. I bet it would. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. I mean, it sure bring 20. I mean, if you guys want to try it, that's fine with me. We try purple wave, <coughs> try sealed bids. And okay. If it, if it doesn't work out, I mean, we can probably have us all done before the end. And if, if we don't ever get that, maybe Dave will go ahead and give us this. I was going to wonder how you'd work that. Well, I, I can talk to him about it and see. Ask him if he do that. I mean, basically, his prices. Or give him a chance to go up a little bit. I mean, well, I talked to him about it before, and I don't, I don't, he's not going to budge off of this price. Right, off yeah. the top price? Up, off of the 25 five. And the top price, no, because everything else is coming. The 12 five. The 12 five, the 12 five, 12 five on the five, trading, yeah. yes. But, I mean, his bid is 7.75 mm -hmm. for the new truck. Yes. Set up. Well, if he'd give you a chance to see what you could do with it for a while, that'd be worth a try. I think so. Okay, I'll talk to him. I mean, if... He wants that for his truck. I mean, yeah. Yeah, as long as he's getting that, I mean. Yeah. Because yeah. what, what he told me, he really not, I mean, he really, what he stated to me was he really is not making any money off of the used truck. Well, I think most of them, the last couple of them were from Bulls mm -hmm. the, to the feed yard mm -hmm. over there. So you want Post it on Purple Wave? Or well, I, I don't know. I think it'd be worth researching our avenues. And, I mean, we could try it for a week or 10 days. Yeah, or whatever. yeah I just don't want to let the truck go until right. we're right. pretty close to having Well, I wouldn't let it go until you have your new yeah. own service. Yeah. I mean, and that, then, you, then you could either you know, advertise it on Next Tech or Purple Wave or even just advertise it for sale. In the newspapers or whatever you want to do, mm -hmm. but just a twelve five for that kind of truck seems pretty. I mean, cheap. now would be a good time to do it because we're going into asphalt. You know, everybody's mm -hmm. going into asphalt season. And How long does it take him to rig up? <clears throat> take well, to rig up a truck like that. Two to three months. months. And that's why I was wanting to get, you know, get the ball rolling mm -hmm. on this, but so we don't end up trying to switch a truck over when we're busy and we end up doing that last year and it was kind of a... So this truck deal, is that something you do every year? Or no. Every it, two years? Or? About every two years we two. try to buy it. 
I mean, this one's on 12 year. This has been 12 years on this one because we traded it. We rolled this one back because it was in pretty good shape. And the last one, and, and we rolled one up because it, we had a few more problems with it. I mean, knock on wood, we haven't had anything with this one. Oh, yeah. And we're down to two, to the two old, we're down to two 1995 Fords. Uh, and the rest of them, we have three Sterlings now. And what's different on this truck is he's put the locker in that, in the rear end. Mm -hmm. It's on the, where that M ride is, we've had some issues when we got off road and stuff. Mm -hmm. So you've got three newer trucks and two about the same age as this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the other one is, <clears throat> is uh, I think within a year of this one. So we we'll probably have to do something with them. I, well, I, I was trying to think here is. There's either another one coming due next year or the year after. I think I think it may be the year after. Because I think really next year we're probably looking at a loader. This one we got 2,000 models, getting close to 7,000. This maybe have over just a little over 7,000. <clears throat> So he's going to do a lot of work on this truck, right? Yeah, he stretches them out. Double, double, he double frames it. And it has a new box on it. It'll take the snow plow mount off the front, off of the truck we have now, and move it over onto the new truck. And then he will. He's, there's another PTO pump in there to run the salt spreader, because this is a truck with a salt spreader in it. And then he adds. Add some springs to the front end to be fitted up for, for this <clears throat> one. Wow. So you're gonna have to teach me something. You, last year your budget was cut what by a hundred thousand? Mm -hmm. Is the room, is your equipment separate than that overall, or is that hundred thousand just off the I top? Where was it today? <clears throat> so we had about a hundred five thousand in capital that way. So while she's looking, what do you think that this truck would be? What What do you think it's worth? The ninety five, and what do you think? Well, I mean, it's what you say, three hundred some thousand miles. Mm -hmm. Three hundred fifty four thousand. So you think a couple more, a couple of thousand? It's worth more. twice that. Twice. So, I mean, that's what yeah, I would guess. On a, re on a retail. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Vehicles and mobiles. So what would it be? Okay. Yeah, At least 20. 20. 20, 20 to 25,000 is what I would say. To I would say 20. I mean, that's <laughs> significant. Yeah, yeah that's a good thing. Sorry, what I said. A couple thousand, I think, yeah, that's what. But yeah, I mean, that's just These are your capital outlay funds. But I mean, you put that on Purple Way and just put out a tickler and see, and then. Because if it's going to take yeah, two or three months, yeah, and you, that was, yeah, yeah, that 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 was for a dump truck, I mean, it was for a five-yard dump truck, right. and I don't think that's a problem. Right. Right. What bothers me is you're getting rid of a truck with 300-some thousand and miles, and you're buying, with what, you're buying yeah. a truck with 455,000 miles. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that, I agree. Yeah, it is a 95, I, I, I but shake, yeah. it has got 100,000 less miles on it, but... And the trucks that are built in 95 aren't built like this truck is that you're getting. But, mm -hmm. but like I said, I probably I did go ahead and get, get some figures on a new one. Right. Hell, a new oh, one. a new one's, yeah. The 130,000. Yeah. So, I mean, your truck's going to be 100,000 probably or 80 plus. <clears throat> and that, yeah, that was just a body. That was just a body. Like that wasn't. So, with a new snow plow and a yeah. spreader, it would be 100. Mm -hmm. Which is, mm -hmm. 
makes you cringe. So shall we table this and just post it just just to see? And if there's no response or anything like that in a week or two or three or whatever. Or do you need to get him working on it? Well, I would like to get him started yeah. on the truck. He, I mean, he could start on the truck. And we, there's still no big hurry, but you could run it for a month, couldn't you, while he's working on it? On the, your old truck. Oh, yeah. purple one. Make sure you're all the next tech, or both. I mean, I don't. The next tech classifies gets better from books, too. Does it? Mm -hmm. Well, I thought about this before. I mean, I'll post it on yeah. Purple Wave, and then it's. It's kind of a flip a coin, but yeah, or even still bids. I mean, I'd put them on both and say we're taking they're taking bids on this truck. And yeah, because we can reject any. Yeah, goal. you can reject any bid you want. So, I I mean, I don't want to cut Dave out of the sale, but it looks like you know at that price he's probably and his, his money is going to be made in building redoing yeah. the new truck, not selling the old. And, and he told me when, when we talked about that earlier, he didn't care. Okay. So I'm, I'm sure it's not an issue with him, but I will make sure I Have you had good luck with these Sterling trucks? I mean, is, is this what motor set up? Oh, that's a cat. These are all, 13. yeah. The only one we've had in was the one with, right. with the Mercedes in it. But we shouldn't have any issues with it for a while now. <laughs> so you're going to... Put advertisements to sell the 1995 Ford by sealed bid on Purple Wave and Next Tech. Uh, it's, it's either it's <clears throat> you can put it on Purple Wave and sealed bids, right? You, well, you I mean, don't want to list, list it for sale. If you put on Purple Wave, you're going to basically list it for sale, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so you I have to do know. one or the other, right? I mean, but you don't want to list it for sale till it's for sale. Yeah, that's very true. I mean, and it wouldn't be for sale until this truck's complete, right? Yes. So. Okay. What are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> We're brainstorming out loud. Just tell me when you're done. We could go ahead and build the truck. I'm just throwing ideas out. Uh, Rebuilding the truck. I'll just delete that whole sentence I put in there. Yeah, don't write yet. <laughs> okay. <coughs> We're in discussion. Sit my <laughs> That's my opinion, your ideas, I guess. Well, uh, I guess I mean, we try to explore everything we yeah. can. I mean, because like I said, I did talk to Dave about this earlier, about, you know. Yeah. I think if you put it on Purple Wave, could you tell them that It'll be available when this truck's done, or does it? I don't know. I'll, 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 I'll have to talk with the purple wave people. The purple wave. I mean, everything I've done, seen, okay. or looked at, that, 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 that next tech stuff, and that's basically a classified ad. So you can put in there whatever you want, whatever yeah. you want to. The sealed bid thing, or it's kind of just like a newspaper. Yeah, it was well, like yeah with pictures. You just go through it. I know that time we sold the five-year dump truck, I would have far more out of it. Well, than the bookstore. Yeah. You know, just a little bit. Yeah. We got far more out of it than I ever thought we would. Yeah, and I think this would be the same way. Sure. But do we need to proceed on the 77 5 or? Well, when we figure out as far as your money situation. He has 105 total between two funds. He's got a vehicle fund with um, 64. Five in it, <clears throat> and then a mobile equipment with 40 in it. Wait, wait, wait. What those were for? One was for the five year, to update the five yard dump truck we had, and one was for a dump truck. And I don't know the word to update that five yard. Okay. I mean, it's not something we use it some, but it's, it's so sparingly that I don't know that it's worth the investing right. that kind of money in. And I don't, I don't really think so right now. In my opinion. But, but if, I mean, just if we look ahead two years, I mean, Clay, you're more experienced <laughs> than we than I mean, if, as far as the funding goes, I mean, if we look ahead two, a year to two, I mean, it's. It's a. It depends on how much money is transferred, right? 
Yeah. You're talking about you. This is in his regular budget. In his regular, his regular yeah. budget. But, but I mean, I don't want to. I guess is what I'm saying. I don't want to put us in a tough spot at budget time if we're. Well, well this is his 13 budget. I mean, right, right. But I'm saying planning for next year if we. Well, looking ahead, I guess is what I'm. I mean, this money is earmarked to be spent in 2013, 13. so it won't, shouldn't okay, affect. affect next year. I mean, yeah, the, the other one thing is, if we had any carryover, is whether we roll it, it would over. Be rolled into yeah. the, cap, the capital uh, improvement okay. oriented okay. machinery. Uh, okay. Right. But as far as the actual purchase, it's earmarked for 13 out of this budget. Okay. I just curious. To so in a couple of years, except it needs to be then, if he has the foresight, then it's already in the budget and it's earmarked for that particular item. And That's the way we've been yeah. trying to do it. Mm -hmm. And quite honestly, there for a while they were. That's not where they would make the cut. They wouldn't make the cut up above. They would make it down here on the equipment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, it got real tough to. Right. Make it, well, mm -hmm. I mean, you could. Well, you know, it's got. It's just got to be rolled sometimes. So it looks like we need to get started on this converting the other. This is the truck you want. Mm -hmm. And then um, put a claim in or a disclaimer or whatever you want to call it that this truck will be available in um, Well, we'll have time to figure that out. June 20. And then if you don't get any heads on it, then. Will he do that? Will he work on that? I, I will ask him. <coughs> I would assume he doesn't want to use vehicles. Well, he usually doesn't keep it. I mean, yeah. he's usually got Yeah, I mean, it's not something he really wants to set on. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Please make a motion so I know what to write. I'll make a motion we'll allow to buy a 2005 Sterling dump truck to convert, have Midwest truck converted to a dump truck for $77,500. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. We accept the bid for this 2005 Sterling truck from the Midwest truck. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. And then um, post this on Purple Wave. And I mean, you're going to know in a couple of weeks if yeah. there's any interest. There'll be interest. Because Purple Wave... Uh, and that's I, I, I'll, I'll find out about the Purple huh? Wave and I'll let you that's know. Just that's just the bid process. That's yeah, the thing I can right. do. I mean, I can try to get five and the next, you know, somebody... So you post, you're going to post the 1995 for, for sale by um, Steel Bid. Still Bid? Yeah. On next time. I'll, I'll check in about purple wave well, because you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah because purple wave. Purple wave is. Yeah. 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 Next step. Next step. Can you put up. like a minimum? Mm -hmm. Okay. So you're posting it first. <laughs> posting it on purple. You should have done it. Oh, on purple <laughs> <way. laughs> And then also putting a classified ad on next step classified. <clears throat> but there, that would have to be still bids, right? On next step, because it's just basically a classified ad. Yeah. What do you mean? What I did with the third party trucks is I just posted on Next Tech that there would be sealed bid at. Uh, Are you yeah. doing this simultaneously? Are you going to try to sell it on one and then do the other? What with, did you Nick, get? Nick, you've had experience with this. Purple wave. Purple wave. Because somebody buys yes. something at an auction, they think they're purple wave. I know. So the you purple can't purple. do both. Yeah. I don't know if the road to the county in general is free through purple wave. Um, they pretty much handle most of it. They can even send somebody out to take pictures of the truck and things like that. They'll handle most of that on the Purple Wave side. And what I did when we did the seal bits for fire trucks was I also posted it in Next Tech um, and maybe even Craigslist, but I just did a an advertisement for a sealed bid ad instead of instead of putting it for sale on Next Tech. I just you've got the sealed bid and you got to go here to get the sealed bid. Let's just do the Purple Wave. Okay. One thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay. Twenty thousand. And put a man on the twenty. Mm -hmm. Twenty.
I mean, you stick your toe in the water and see what happens. <clears throat> and that's just, and if you get no response, then you take, you take the head down. And, what do you mean? Yeah, and what's their commission? You could ask uh, the school just to have two or three buses on the boy not too many months ago. And, and you're starting to do one? Twenty. 20. Mm -hmm. Well, I see what's not my thought. Well, them tracks are new. Yeah. At least it's dry here. Yeah. There's some moisture. Yeah. They said it was going to be pretty wet. That's good. Yes. Okay. Any other questions? Any other questions? Okay. On the road leading into the Guevara Visitor Center off of 4th Street. Do you think. Have we talked to the landowners <coughs> where the trees are at along the, the right of way? No. All right. Apparently, uh, the government has money. Again. Again. It's a different round of <coughs> grants and stuff. So Mike called me yesterday and wanted to know what you know what needs to be done. And of course, my first thought was to remove those trees along the east side going north. So the utility line is on the west side. Yeah. Are they in the easement? I'm sure they are to the edge of it. And that's, is that a 40 foot? Gee, probably, well it could be, there's none of them the same in any of these townships. I mean, you know, they're pretty anywhere from 40 to 50 to 60, mm -hmm. 65, you would see. 63. I mean, it, it, it just varies. So, I and guess, I don't know what that is. Yeah, I guess the issue is, are the trees, should they be you know, trimmed or removed or... Are well, they about half of them dead anyway? They're in very good shape. So, what he's asking is, if he submits with this grant and then gets it, and then we can't do anything to the road as far as the right way. So well, we, your right way is always your first step. I mean, yeah. because you got to have adequate. Right so is that right tree? Away. Is the tree line in the right of way? It hangs right over. It, it, it'd be. It'd probably be pretty close. But then you have a problem when you take them out. Where you're going to put them? I mean, hauling that big a tree off is an issue. Unless you can get the landowner. Carolyn pursued this one grant and you know it got lost somewhere. But now he said there's a new one and it's a public lands, access to public lands. And he would like to get all this, you know, committed and then send it to his boss in Denver. So I told him I tried to find out what, what all needs to be done. It could, it could, could be asphalt or could it could be, you know, ground. Improved ground. Yeah. Well, I mean, improved ground really <coughs> makes a little more sense because you're going to have an, a mile asphalt road that goes there and just stop. Yeah. I mean, it, it doesn't connect with anything. You know, an improvement, if they could 
rocket, you know, where, they, where it becomes a, basically an all-weather road. So make, make, makes, a lot, <clears throat> makes a lot more common sense to me than, right, than, right. than a $200,000 asphalt road. Is that an East Cooper? Yes, that's East Cooper. The township board is Josh Austin. Gary. That's what I was wondering, but then, then the issue is they probably want you to trim them. be able to trim them. That'd be a pretty hard job. One winter we rented a bucket truck for Rose Valley and traded some mm -hmm. what we rented. We rented it and then traded out some material and some other things. Um, and trimmed a bunch of archeries with it. Now are we arborists? No. <laughs> And with the cottonwood, it can look great on the end, on the outside, and you get into halfway through, and all of a sudden your chainsaw's cut hot butter because there's nothing in the middle. Of it. It's dealing with clover I seriously doubt that they'll want you to take the trees clear out of it because they probably like that view well, going down there. Well, see, and that's the other thing, and it's yeah. one of their goals is to, trees is to get out of away them. with with invasive trees. Maybe. But the, the last. Last director or whatever their title is that they they banned talk about taking trees out. They really? they did. Well their goal uh, was to to rid the the area get rid of the invasive trees. Keep the native trees. Well once you get uh, Chinese elm and cedars and everything yeah. <laughs> out of there. You only have a few long cottonwood trees. I think that there's a lot of cottonwood trees along there. There is. That's what I remember. Yeah. But I'm just wondering what our plan was to that when first grant was submitted. I'll look at that. I think it was okay. in kind work. Okay. Yeah. There, was no, there was no money involved. But I think we did agree that we'd do some in kind work. Workforce, yes. Yeah. So, and that's what he's wanting to know is if he proceeds with this. He doesn't want to hit a snag and say, oh, well, the township or the county is not going to want to participate in this. And so well, he's was, just getting his ducks in a row for his Well, I was basically said that he needs to have a meeting with East Cooper Township people because it's their right away. I mean, it's their right away. And then probably the landowners can see, you know, what they're feeling and yeah. talks on it. Trees are going to come out with the pile in here because you know that, that can be quite an expensive if we have to start hauling trees. Right. And I think that Carolyn did a lot of that preliminary work a year or two years ago. Yeah, we she talked. She talked to Kirk and Michael. I do know that. I do remember John using a figure of two hundred thousand dollars. All right. I'll relay that message. We'll see what tomorrow brings. Tomorrow will be worse.
and put together kind of a proposal for uh, the pumper corridor. And it, it goes a little bit deeper than that because uh, I'm going to kind of lay out a kind of a proposal for us and the cities to uh, really to handle more than just the pumping, I mean, more than, than just the response corridors, but more into the lines of um, uh, the air packs and, and all the different things that uh, right now the county's doing that, and I, I think we ought to just define that in writing that we do that. So we can kind of, uh, so, the, so the commissions on them particular boards can understand what the county does for them um, and the financial significance of that. And it's logical for, for one entity to do it, uh, but I think each council needs to understand uh, what's well, being done in, in, this, in the financial benefit. slower than usual. And I think it, 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 it'll kind of have. segue right into that pumping corridor, too, that we can show that hey, we're doing quite a bit for you. Yeah, I, just, I keep going down down for a Makes sense, <laughs> but, but it is the work. So I'll have something together next week, and then we can... You can take a look at that, see if you want to tweak it in, and then, uh, then I'll go back to the city council and see if they would like to do that, too. I had a request from uh, one of the county employees to financially assist uh, uh, her son that's going to firefighter training in uh, next year, I believe, in March. Uh, I'm going to visit with her today, I, uh, but I just wanted to mention that actually preliminary now. I, I, I'm i not sure that, that I can kind of wrap my mind around how we can even, how I can even propose that we assess it. But I, I just don't know how we can do it. If, if I can figure it out, I'll, I'll bring something back. Uh, well, I, I don't, that's the thing. It, uh, she's not really asking for any particular set amount. But I don't know how we can even logically do it in any manner that would it, it had to be some type of tuition reimbursement yeah, so for the, as a county policy. Care, care yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I think she has a program in place like that. I'll, I'll talk to her, yeah. Because it, it has to be something that's going to... And it is a reimbursement on a student loan. I think okay. it's repayment of so many, so many percent. Well, okay. Yeah, that. The ROZ. ROZ, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's after the fact. <laughs> right, yeah. I'll, I'll visit with her. I, I, and, and I'm actually going to visit with her, with her this afternoon, but I, I just kind of wanted to mention it because I don't, I mean, we don't have anything. And, and I, just, I just don't know where it's going to fit. Is that somebody that just moved in? Or? No, no, it, it's one of our county employees, but it, um, one of our county employees, but their but their son's going to clarify the program. The ROC would part. And, and it's, it's uh, that particular uh, young man is one of our volunteers, but still, I just don't know that we can get into that and keep it, keep it square. <laughs> I just can't wrap my mind around it quite how I could even propose it to you yet. But is that the city department that has a scholarship deal? Uh, yeah, and I think they pursued that, but you know, they wanted to do one beyond that. Uh, then, if, um, and, and, and I can st step aside if if, um, if you have other business, but I, I was going to go into executive session for 15 minutes, uh, because about not like the personnel. Okay. Uh, make a motion we go in executive session with two, all you want in there. Um, just right here. Okay. You don't need me, I'm going to, yeah. I couldn't believe you turned him loose up that way. Okay, so you have a first. We have a deck gun. Monitor, uh, side monitor, up the light. And this is, uh, this is on our five ton trucks. Um, this this truck, some of the other trucks where we're just changing over the beds over to them five tons, we won't, they'll already have one, but, but this one we weren't changing the bed over, so we. Uh, the price quotes I've been getting have been ranging from. Oh, nine hundred dollars to eighteen hundred dollars for these things, and I knew I had found one one time for like four ninety nine, but it was on sale. Well, this was it. This Alkalite and Sidewinder, and I got this one uh, quote by email this morning, and it was that's old. That's who you. you that's going to be MES. Yeah, and we've got a we we deal a lot with MES with our our nozzles and things. I know that we pay municipal emergency services for the 
Alkalite, Sidewinder, $550. I'll second that. It's been moved and second. We uh, pay NEC, or NES. NES. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Well, have a wonderful day, yeah, guys. Yeah, I bet we do. <laughs> well, hopefully not. I'm not sure who is that. It's just kind of close to that. Uh, uh, we'll recess. Right for um, a personal emergency vehicle uh, permit by Doug Brown, Chief of Police over at Stafford. It takes a commissioner's signature. He's requesting to renew his, his uh, I think that's his duly, his board duly that he drives. I make the motion for this application for authorized emergency vehicle permit for Doug Brown. Second. We've been moved second. We uh, met Doug Brown with an emergency vehicle designation. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Uh, I think there's potentially three spots for a signature. Three. Okay. Well, there's one on that paper, and then the card itself, I think, had a front and back signature, maybe. Or I can't remember exactly how it was. This dune and bill part of the one you were showing us. 96. 220. Well, that wouldn't have been one. That's probably not his. It could be Phil's. Yeah, it was. The part that is. That's unit 303. We yeah, that's Phil's. Phil. That's Phil's. Mm -hmm. You want to see the bathroom? Sure. And, and we've got it. <laughs> I'm going to put them away. We have to take some stuff to get it back. I know. Uh, our new ambulance, Doug Ray, is the other closer GM dealer. They can't fit it because uh, they don't have a tall enough ceiling. Uh, it's still in the warranty. We just actually had it up there for a warranty, but uh, it shouldn't be any charge. For <laughs> that ambulance, that will probably be the only place to make a service. Yeah, it'll work on it. Am I done with it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you got anything else? Yeah. Yeah. We'll recess. I uh, make a motion we accept it as tax roll corrections. Second. In the second, we accept the tax roll uh, corrections. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carry. Okay, now, <clears throat> in order for the bank to go ahead and process the credit cards, I need a motion made stating each person that's to get a credit card and the amount of their limit. And then I need a motion to authorize me to be able to access everybody's accounts. So that's what that is. I make a motion that the county credit cards be authorized for use by William Boyle, Bill Clark, Mike Dater, Tom Fisher, each with a $500 limit, Carl Miller, Lisa Milton, Robert Murrow, Phil Nusser, Jeff Parr, Doris Tompkins, Ryan Witt, each of a $1,000 limit, Nina Keenan, Steve Moody, both be with a fifteen hundred dollar limit. Second. It's been moved and seconded that we accept as stated. All in favor say aye. 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 Yeah. Motion carried. We got one more on there, I think. One more on that bottom of that page. Okay. Another motion, yeah. You need a motion to I move that Nita Keenan be authorized to access and oversee all of the account activity on all credit cards issued in the name of Stafford County. I second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Okay. Um, I think that's all I have. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> yeah, that's yours. We got the vouchers, we got mm -hmm. checks, vouchers. We're done. So we're going to adjourn. Are you here just recessing, right? Are we recessing or adjourn? Recessing or adjourn? Recess. Recess. We're recessing.
heard it's like this one's not be too easy to get that back out that quick. It, it's interesting. They they have a lot more staff there than the previous administration. Yeah, I was really surprised that the answer came back that fast. Um, so what'd they say? Well, you don't have to get we were right, you don't have to. But you can't say their draft minutes anytime during the meeting. Yes, you can't, you can't refer to them during the I was beginning to have my doubts about the Kansas Association of County Lawyers. Okay. We'll go into session. Discuss non elected personnel all in favor say aye. 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 Motion carried. Can you make copies of these? We'll be in, <coughs> in executive. I'm getting back.